Oh, thank you so much, Jazz Lounge. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that was a tune called Bright Side's Life. We were kind of doing that to warm up. Primarily for the stream, but I'll turn it up. Okay, uh, gotcha. Um, that was it. We're going to warm up for that one, but now we're going to start playing the album Off Ramp, which is uh, 40 years old, according to Leonard. And yeah, 40 years old. Yeah. A little bit older than me, so. Um, <laughs> yeah, a little before I was born and before Julian got one born. He was there. He was there. He was there for it. <laughs> so we're going to play the first tune off the album called Are You Going With Me? Technically. Technically. Second yeah. tune. Technically the second tune. Yeah. <laughs> See, somebody who knows said. <laughs>
Um, I guess I'm going to tell you who's in this cool band over there on drums. He's here about a month and a half out of the next two months, it seems like, here just about every week. And we just got back from Colorado a week before last doing some stuff with LP and the vinyl. That's the amazing Julian Cantel on drums. And on bass, we literally just flew from downtown. <laughs> the Bayview Marriott uh, and flew here. Amazing bass player, Sean Hickey. <laughs> on keys, taking the role of Lyle Mays. <laughs> The calm, cool, collected, ever so chill, Alan Iker on keys. <laughs> <laughs> and on guitar, taking the role of Matheny. Wish, I wish I had a picture of that thing your wife <laughs> cropped his I hair. I wish, I wish. <laughs> she has a different one for me too. <laughs> Did she really? I'll show him on my phone later. Yeah, yeah okay, because okay. <laughs> uh, you, know, you, you, you don't want to show everybody. <laughs> Uh, that's so ja on guitar. So <laughs> shot. Uh, Eighteen. Okay, I will. I will sit down for a second.
Thank you. Um, so that tune is called 18, and um, we're going to play probably the hardest tune on the album now. It's called Aule, and it means with milk in French, I believe. So coffee with milk, so yeah. Oddly enough, the song isn't very caffeinated, so I <laughs> hope you guys enjoy it, though.
not just when it came out back in the day? Uh, I wasn't. You were, okay. I, I went, so my first Pat Flynn concert was 84. 84. Yeah. So that was uh, First Circle? First Pride? Circle. Yeah, First yeah. Circle Pride. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wonderful album. Yeah. yeah. So the next tune is called Off Ramp. And I explain this tune like you're on a crazy car ride and you realize that your exit is like five seconds away and you have to pull, pull between like 10 cars to get off the exit right away um, after you were kind of just chilling and driving with your coffee. And it's funny because that car just came and ki kind of was setting, setting the scene. I was like, oh yeah, we're playing Off Ramp next. So <laughs> this song is Insanity, so enjoy. <laughs>
By the way, that was Sean Hickey on bass. Oh my God. What a, what a madman. And Julian can't tell him on the drums, of course. <laughs> we, still, we still have a few more. Um, so the good news is you made it off your exit. You, you dodged all the cars, didn't get an accident. You made it. You made it to El Cajon Boulevard, and you're at the Jazz Lounge now. And now it's all chill, and you're going to just have fun and listen to James, which is dedicated to James Taylor. So enjoy this one.
So we're going to do a tune of mine now uh, that I wrote uh, back in the mid-90s. I was uh, attending Berkeley and Boston for a while, and I had just written this tune, which you could say has some Matheny influence in it, but um, I was doing a little like a concert recital thing, uh, and I had no name for this tune or lyrics, and it still doesn't have lyrics. Um, somebody wanted to write lyrics to it, but um, it's just, I've written a lot of tunes with lyrics, but this one I just never have. And um, that was still when I was handwriting all my charts. And so I, you know, wrote a chart, but I didn't write any title. And then somebody wrote Leonard's tune, and then on the main copy, and then all the copies from then on had that title. So that title kind of stuck. So from then till now, it's called Leonard's Tune. Yeah. 
want to introduce this amazing band one more time. On the vocals, we have Leonard Hatton. <laughs> <laughs> the, the vocals actually add a really, really nice touch to the Matheny stuff, so of course. it's great to have you. Alan Eicher on the piano. <laughs> Killing it. Sean Hickey on bass. <laughs> and Julian Cantelm on the drums.
Once again, So Shaw on the guitar, Julian Cantel on the drums, Sean Hickey on bass, Alan Iker on the keys. And uh, yeah, this, uh, for, for some of us, uh, this, this music is very sacred for, <laughs> for a lot of us. Uh, many, many road trips, many just hours of just listening to this music um, for many years. And um, Pat Metheny is definitely, uh, for, for me, an icon. And uh, dream came true this past March. Got a chance to play a gig with him. So it was wow. pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah, got to sing Minuano. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's yeah, you know, it, it, it's it's unreal. But um, yeah, thank you guys for coming out to the Jazz Lounge. For uh, is any of you, or most of you new? So a couple of you have been here. Yeah, so welcome. Do we have one more night of this tomorrow? Tomorrow's a pretty pretty large crowd tomorrow. So it'll it'll be awesome. Um, just a few things that are happening coming up. We got next week um, a few nights of uh, Chikoria tribute, um, focusing on m focusing on the the first return to Al return to forever album, plus a few other uh, tunes in there. So that's a Chikoria tribute next week, and then on Friday. So that's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday we have the Nathan Hubbard Quartet. Um, his his group is fantastic. It's going to be awesome. Then I don't know what we have after that. We got some stuff in November. Um, we got a Joni Mitchell tribute two nights that's selling out quite quickly. Um, and then we have tribute to the music of Joe Raposo and Sesame Street. But come on, don't y'all come on now, somebody. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we've got. Um, Stevie Wonder's Talking Book came out 50 years ago, so we're doing a tribute to that. Um, yeah, some Christmas stuff. Um, there's stuff on the calendar for next year already, so if you go to the jazzlounge.live, you can see some stuff that we already posted for next year. So, you know, we're trying to do a few things. Thanks for supporting live music, not just here, but around San Diego County. And uh, your support, your ears uh, is, is much appreciated. I speak on behalf of um, all the musicians around town. We truly appreciate it. So thank you so much, and God bless you. <laughs>